Hazlitt Robotics has had a very successful season so far. Connor, Nick, Roman, and Jake, with their head coach Robin Seleski, talked about their season and what is to come. Our practices, at least for the drone club, are about two hours in length. Um, we meet at the West Side Y, and we first set up our field, which is a 28 by 28 foot field. Uh, it's got all kinds of arches and um, keyholes, things that the kids have to fly through. So we'll initially set that field up, and then the boys will start flying their strategies. We always like to talk about um, communication on field and off field, how they can work together as a team, um, what they can do to improve their flight time, what they can do to improve their scoring. So far, the teams have attended two competitions and have already secured a spot at the World Championship. In January, we, we attended two competitions. They were both held at Kettering University. And so the first day, there were a couple of teams, all high school teams, and it was our very first competition. So uh, we were all super nervous, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Especially when we walked in and saw that all the kids were much older and bigger than you guys. We got a little nervous about that. Um, but that's the day that um, the Flying Phantoms, they qualified for Worlds. Um, and they did that through their driving techniques and then through their autonomous programming. Uh, the second competition was on Sunday. And again, we walked in and there were more teams on that day, but we were still the youngest teams there. And that's the, team, the day that these two were able Robots Rules were able to qualify for Worlds. And again, they did it based on their skill scores and just how well they were flying as well. Each team introduced themselves and explained how they created and controlled their drones. We are the Flying Phantoms. Uh, this is the first year for us uh, doing drones, but we've been doing uh, robotics for about three years. We've been on the same team uh, all of those years, actually. Um, and we've been really excited to uh, do something new, uh, especially with drones. Um, and me and Connor have had a lot of fun programming and learning how to fly through obstacles that you didn't have to in a drone or normal robotics. Uh, we're robots and rule, and we have always been the same robotics team, and we kept our names from the yeah. first time. You guys who have been in robotics for what, three years now? Uh, as yeah. well? Three or four. Three or four. This is actually the tenth prototype of these uh, 3D printed guards that we've had. Oh my gosh. Where the, some of these guards on this drone, uh, the blue ones appear uh, more white because we spray a special um, like. A gel. Yeah. It's like a rubber. rubber in a can, basically. The team talked about what their upcoming competition will look like. Okay, so they're supposed to be our age, but we, but they're a good robotics like school. We're not expecting it to be super easy. We actually think it's going to be harder than the first one. But it's better that they're middle schoolers, like our age, because it just feels less intimidating. This competition will be going to Traverse City, and... Um, we're in a really good position because both of our teams already have world spots. So for this one, we can just enjoy ourselves and we're going to focus on trying new skills, things that we haven't been able to perfect before and just seeing how that works. Um, a big part of competitions is there's a judging panel and the boys have to turn in engineering um, notebooks, journals, and then they have to go through an interview process. So this is also a good time for us to hone our interview skills and make sure our journals are are in a good spot. So um, this is just kind of a dry run for the world's competition in May. They're pretty remarkable kids. So um, they're all really hardworking, they're passionate, and they're really dedicated. They have a good sense of humor, which is something you need when you're starting a brand new program because mm -hmm. every single practice, things go wrong, mm -hmm. things that we can't control, things that we don't understand. And so um, they don't give up. They fight for it, and uh, they're just pretty special kids. When asked what they are expecting when they go to the World Championship, this is what the team had to say. For me, I've been a coach now for five years. Um, we did Vex IQ first, and we made it to state championships, but we have not made it past states. Um, so I don't quite know what to expect, other than um, there should be about 120 drone teams from all over the world joining us so it's going to be a tremendously large event um, 
And quite honestly, for Worlds, I think it's just a huge accomplishment that we made it our first year flying. And so I just want them to be able to take in the experience, um, to learn from it, to grow from it, and to have a lot of fun. What about you guys? Do you guys have anything that you want to take away from Worlds? Uh, I mean, probably just the experience, uh, knowing that we probably can get back to Worlds again. Yeah, I agree with Connor. Uh, I think um, I want to try to do our best and uh, succeed, and then next year uh, try to get back to Worlds and know how it like works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I also feel that um, it kind of shows that even though we're going against high schoolers, that middle schoolers can beat high schoolers. The team then gave some suggestions on where to start if you are wanting to get involved with robotics. If families are just looking for a way to maybe introduce their kids to, to robots, um, you can buy um, Vex IQ kits and you can work on it at home or you can also um, try to join Hazlitt Robotics Club so you can find us on our Facebook page. Um, uh, you can reach out to one of the Hazlitt schools and then they'll also complete you in touch with myself. So that's what I would start at Vex IQ. It teaches you how you build it, how you control it, and like what you need to do. So that's where, that's where I started. In Meridian Township for Home TV, I'm Rachel Ramsey.